Iran's long-threatened aggression in the Far East began tonight with air attacks on United States naval bases in the Pacific. Fresh reports are coming in every minute. The latest facts of the situation are these. Messages from Tokyo say that Japan has announced a formal declaration of war against both the United States and Britain. The Japanese air raids were made on the Hawaiian Islands and the Philippines. Observers' reports say that an American battleship has been hit and that a number of the Japanese bombers have been shot down. A naval action is in progress off Honolulu, and American transport with timber on board has been torpedoed in the Pacific, and another cargo ship is reported in distress. President Roosevelt has told the Army and Navy to act on their secret orders, has called a meeting of ministers, and is preparing a report for Congress. In London, Mr. Wynant has seen Mr. Churchill, and both Houses of Parliament have been summoned for tomorrow afternoon to hear a statement on the situation. In this nation's capital, the Japanese attack on Hawaii and the Philippine Islands and the torpedo assault on two American cargo ships in the Pacific have come with an electrifying shock. There are crowds right now gathered in front of the White House and the State Department and the Japanese Embassy. They are sober, quiet crowds. There is more excitement among a crowd of 150 newspaper men jammed within the lobby of the White House Executive Office. For a comparatively few feet away, the president is dictating the first draft of a message to Congress. That much is announced at the White House. And this means that a joint session of Congress will be held probably as early as tomorrow, at which the president will announce the Japanese attack upon the United States and ask for a declaration of war. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. This is the BBC Home and Forces programme. Here's the news. This is Wilfred Pickles reading it. This morning's news of Japan's aggression is of successful countermeasures against the invasion of Malaya. There have also been reports of enemy attacks on Thailand and Hong Kong. At Shanghai, the Japanese have taken over the international waterfront and sunk the British gunboat Petrol. President Roosevelt has spoken of serious damage and casualties in the earlier Japanese air raids on America's Pacific naval bases and the Japanese are reported to have lost an aircraft carrier and some of their bombers and submarines. 